hi guys today we are going to see how to create a blend spin effect in illustrator this is for the beginners tutorial so if you are a beginner it's useful for your progress so if you not yet subscribe my channel just subscribe i will post it in many for the beginners tutorial for in photoshop and illustrator too so let's go to the video now so uh first you need to create a uh, take a rectangle tool you can see here and select it and draw it uh if you before you draw just hold the shift and draw it you can create a rectangle or else uh sorry if you hold the shift and draw it you can create a square uh, same uh, perfect square uh, just without uh, holding any keys just draw it you can create a rectangle so first you need uh, we need to now uh, select the rectangle tool and hold the shift and draw the square and you can see the edges select the edge uh, select the edges and just drag it out inside little bit it's bevel the edges symmetrically all over the edges and just rotate it you can see the in the properties here you can see the rotation option which you can see you can see the pro properties panel and go to the window and you can see here in click if you click uh, not yet you click it uh, just click it you can you can see the property panel and see the old place so just you know rotate it with the 44 45 okay cool now now take a duplicate uh, sorry now we need to create another duplicate so just hold the halt and drag it you can create a duplicate and you need to uh, color it so just to you know uh, remove the stroke color and go to the fill uh pick to some pick some colors uh if you better in gradient so go to the windows and here you can see gradient it's using a double color in many variety of colors in one, uh, one particular object and uh, some vectors so it's for the shortcut is control f9 so just click it and click ok here you can see it's the basic things the black and white color so first you need to select this node and select some color here select it and select the color and select this node and select somewhere so okay now it's selected as well the same color pattern for here too just select it but here you can see this uh, stroke uh, color so go to the here the swatch and now click here remove the stroke color now select this both and go to the uh, uh, menu tool here you can see in the blend tool it's a shortcut is W the same as you click here and you click double click you can see the option blend option it's a uh, smooth color it doesn't need now if you go to the specified step here you can see it just click the four and click OK and now 
click the first object as well as the second one it's automatically created the blend so it's used to for the many ways if you get you need to create the multiple colors for the dog to shade it using the blend is useful for it so first create the blending okay but you need to some more uh, object for the sprint i mean some vector path work you need to create the blend spin so just create another one as a take a circle to and create it and remove the fill color here for the swatch the uh, remove uh, shift x you can click it automatically remove the color in the friend if you friend he, you can see here you can see the friend color will be appear in the top so if you click the shift text it's automatically uh, switch the colors front and then back so now take a dire direct selection to and remove this particular area and now select the both the vector of the circle and the blend spin as well go to the object and here you can see blend and a replace spin so if you click it it's automatically spin as well as but the way you can create it in the path you can create a many a different kind of path like a, a design or shapes or some waves every every what kind of you should create is automatically bend as well this the shape so now if, but the circle and the square will be separated too many so go to the blend option again you can hear the blend double click it you can see here uh, for so increase the value by one by one you can see here you can create the uh, blend uh, blend steps between the this uh, between the this two so it, it's create a many almost uh, 100 it's okay i think but it, it can't see any difference blending so go to the layer panel here you can see the both so click click ok here the first and uh, you can see the uh, stoke value i mean stoke color you can apply the same color here so you can now uh, can see the different strokes as well as the same uh, pattern to the this circle to so in this square to it created it way uh, now you can see the splitting option so if you doesn't need the, this if you doesn't uh, like this color it's automatically you can change it easily very easy method it can easily change the color as well the variation of the you selected the before this cut to and it means lightest dark uh, dark blue and lightest blue combination you can see in the property panel here you can see the recolor or else go to the edit edit color recall artwork click here you can see the panel just for it uh, just drag it this trigger you can automatically select the difference you can create the colors difference between these two Mm, it's almost green. I will reduce the color. You can see reduce the uh, brightness and the uh, dog. It it's to reduce the dark. It is a bright. You can adjust the brightness also here. Uh, 
which one is cool here i believe it the best one is very bad very better because of the it doesn't you can see the color it doesn't here now so just remove it it's a bit it's a good i think you can create a mini like this like the way uh, i hope you guys you like this video uh if you like this video just like like the uh, like button and subscribe my channel have a nice day guys bye